How to set up a WISE Bank Account 2023 Complete Registration Tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you're going to be able to set up a WISE Bank Account and it's going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial where I'm going to be telling you how you can generate these accounts for people who want to, you know, earn or send money away from their actual country. So it's really, really great to use WISE if you haven't created an account. Uh, we're going to head straight into WISE. And if you wanted to earn a few dollars, even you can earn by clicking on the link in the description below. That's going to obviously help you stand out. So basically, to start things off, you're going to come to wise.com. OK, and once you're in wise.com, you can see a lot of things over here. OK, so say when you send worldwide, you can start sending money now, open a different account. And there's even a live conversion rate over here. So we can see over here that in my currency, one great British pound is this much. So it's pretty terrific, right? And obviously, wise will cut a small, you could say, hole for themselves. They will cut a few Great British Pounds. Now, let's say even if I were to convert it to dollars. So $100 is this much in my currency. $800 would be this much in my currency. So you get the point. It's pretty easy to get your head around these things. And uh, the best thing about using wise is that, you know, the transaction fee is not too much. You know, because all these other platforms, even PayPal and things like that, these things cut a lot of transaction fees from you. But in this, you could save up to 0 0.93 US dollars. So uh, 0 0.07 US dollars is only being cut from you, and it should arrive in 30 minutes, which is pretty incredible. So you get the whole uh, gist and point of it. And uh, moving on, what's going to happen is that you can send money over worldwide, open a new account, or things like that. Uh, but for the meanwhile, we're just going to go ahead and click on register. OK, and obviously there's two different types of wises. You can do it for personal or you can do it for business means a lot like, uh, you know, what you can do with your PayPal. And uh, obviously when it comes to wise personal, you're doing more personal transactions. When it comes to wise business, obviously you're going more into the e-commerce section where you're sending and receiving money online through different, uh, you know, enterprises or maybe if you're an entrepreneur. So, you know, that's how WISE functions with different platforms. But yeah, apart from that, uh, if you want to get started, uh, we're going to register using our Google account, Facebook account, Apple, or any other email that we have. So just go ahead and enter uh, an email that you're associated with. So I'm just going to do exactly that. And as you can see, as I paste my email, we're going to click on next. And what it does is, as I stated, it gives us two different accounts. And... These are the elements of account type and, uh, you know, there's different tabs as well. Country, 2FA and all that. So here's what kind of account to in today. In my case, I'm going to open up a personal account, send, spend and receive around the world. And it's great for freelancers that work internationally and want to make a small business. And if you want to look out for your, your business account with, you know, great enterprises, then obviously business would be much better. So as you can see, do business for freelance or work internationally personal send spend and receive around the world for less so in my case uh, we're just going to go ahead with the personal account for now once you go with the personal account you're going to choose your country okay because that's really important once you've chosen your country you're going to verify it with a phone number okay and verification with a phone number is really important because obviously it's going to send you a code asking for you know different things so Obviously, that is exactly what I am going to do. So I'm going to be right back. Now, once you've obviously gone with the whole registration process from there on out, it's a piece of cake. OK, that is going to fully set up your wise account. And once your wise account is obviously set up, then comes the actual features. OK, now you can obviously start setting up your wise account totally for free. But uh, for, you know, different wise fees, you can only pay for what you use. So there's different fair prices. So first of all, there's the free place where you can just register for totally for free on wise. Uh, then there's sending money. Sending money cuts about 0.43 percentages from your transactions. Then there's spending with your card. You can withdraw 200 great British pounds per month per account. And then you can hold money in your account if you want to. And then there's receiving money. You can get account details in nine currencies for yourself. You can receive different types of uh, money, you know, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, European dollars, Great British Pound, uh, Hungarian, you know, all these different types of dollars. You can do that. And let's say 
I want to send money between banks. Now, to send money, obviously, there's different. You can see how many currency they're going to cut from you or how many Great British Pounds and Euros they're going to cut for you. You can also switch to Wise Business for a very different type of pricing and, uh, you know, sending and receiving regimen. Uh, you know, there's different fees for making payments for yourself. And uh, as you choose those fees, there's two options that you get. Okay. Uh, you get either balance or jar. Balance is to send, receive, and spend money. Jar is to set aside money for whenever you re need it. And you're, to obviously set your first currency, you're going to go ahead and open up the balance jar, choose some kind of currency. Let's say you want to choose Singaporean, uh, Indian rupee, uh, some US dollar or something like that, West African franc. That depends on you. And uh, to set up your account correctly, obviously, there's different ways to um, connect your bank account. And to connect your bank account, obviously, once your uh, account is set it up, all you're going to do from there is just go to the account settings, choose the country of your bank, obviously. Now, if your bank is from, you know, the United States, then that should be pretty much good to go. But if your bank is from any other country other than U.S., United Kingdom and Canada, then obviously that's going to be an issue for you. So we don't want that issue, right? So to do that, obviously, we're obviously going to want to have a bank account in the U.S., U.K. or Canada. And after that, you can start sending your money easily. That's how you're going to set up your account. Obviously, just set up some two-step verification as well, because two-factor authorization is a pretty big pet peeve of, uh, you know, using WISE. So once you've gotten that down, then you can start doing the sending of your money. So as you can see, international money transfers, it's pretty trusted. Join over 16 million people who choose WISE for fast and secure online money transfers. We're five times cheaper than the banks. And obviously, you can start selling on for different customers. You can compare their pricings and speed uh, for different currencies, as you can see over here. And you can also see different, uh, you know, you could say transfer money profit. So the real cost of sending a thousand great British pounds. You can see the transfer speed for WISE is three hours and there's no hidden fees. And you can see that it only takes around five great British pounds out of those thousand. Now, in the case of other things, you can see Western Union, which is pretty famous, MoneyGram, which is pretty famous. These take a big chunk of money out of your fees. So, yeah, I'd say WISE is a pretty good thing to keep by your side because it doesn't take a big chunk and it transfers money pretty quickly. So let's say I want to send some US dollars in the form say I'm going to go with the PKR. It's not possible. Wait, just switch this to PKR. Okay. And I'm going to switch this to PKR as well. Real quick. I'm going to switch this to the US dollar because let's say I want to, you know, send it from PKR to USD. Uh, if it's not possible, obviously you can use other providers. Like let's say you have USD and you want to send it in USD. You can do that as well. So let's say we have this, you know, I'm going to send in 1000 USD, the recipient will get 995.78. And if you click on get started, you're also going to see it says it should arrive in nine hours, then you're just going to log in with your account. And once you do that, you're pretty much going to be pretty much set to go to using wise. So yeah, that's how you're going to create a account on wise, set it up and use it pretty easily. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.